Hi, I'm Wayne Baker at DJI, and really quickly I'd like to walk you through the security features of our app that allow you to control your data. So we're going to begin by powering on the remote controller. Uh, this will be a first time activation. It will connect to Matrice 350 aircraft today. And not only does it control the aircraft in flight, but it is also an Android tablet, as you see. And it's opening the DJI Pilot 2 app uh, again. This is our first time activation steps. We will run through in a minute. But first, I want to show that the best way for us to make sure our data is secured is by simply turning Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off. Now there's no data connection into the RC and thereby no data connection into or out of the aircraft, into or out of the RC as well. And if we do want to have a Wi-Fi connection to them, we can turn Wi-Fi on and we could connect to a hotspot that is separated from our home internet, business internet, or our agency internet. Now we are going to run through the first time activation steps. And in this case, we the app pulled up automatically and it pulls up our terms of use we could read through and acknowledge. Privacy notice we could read through and acknowledge. Maintenance notice suggesting we read the maintenance manual and follow it and acknowledge that. Uh, one click authorization for memory card and write permissions as well as location information for GPS of the aircraft and remote controller. And then now we're in network security mode uh, portion of our app that we'll see here again in a minute. But we have three modes of that. Standard mode, restricted network mode, and our local data mode. In standard mode, we have all these uh, internet capable services available that we can turn off and on. In restricted network mode, some of them like map service are available, but others are automatically turned off and not able for us to enable them or disable them. They're completely off. Local data mode, same thing, only now everything is off and this is like airplane mode for your cell phone. We're going to have them on in standard mode. Uh, the next DJI product improvement project, um, this is so that we can share diagnostic data from the app uh, for app improvement functionality improvement. Uh, we're going to say yes at this point and have the others on that we showed, but that's because I want to show you where you can revoke those permissions now. Now the app is set up where you're able to fly, but if we hit this shield here, again, we're back into the, we're in the data and privacy section of the app, back into the network security mode. Now we have our standard mode where we can turn things off and on, but I'm going to go down and that product improvement project we just agreed to share diagnostic data from, we can now revoke that permission here if we had decided, you know what, we don't want to be a part of that. So here we see it says no related network requests or information will be sent to DJI. We confirm that. Our next section is our security code. This is where we can go in and set a PIN number to an SD card, locking that SD card down so not even DJI can access it, only us or anyone we share that code with. So if we accidentally had an SD card in an aircraft or sensor we sent in for service or repair, we know it's secured. Similar to that with the aircraft, we can clear caches of our sensors and aircraft if we wanted to send them in for maintenance or repair or we could clear the entire device by either selecting aircraft remote controller or sensor separately or we can clear all of the information on them and as you can see it's going to clear the the data other than firmware uh, off of the aircraft remote controller or the sensor that is attached to the gimbal port one here, you will hear the aircraft restart. And this will lead us to the factory reset screen. Here we will hear the aircraft restart. And now as it's restarted, we will start to see that it cleared its data, the remote controller, and now we're at the 
erase all data factory reset just like you would do with a cell phone in this case what you would do if you wanted to sell this aircraft and remote controller or you needed to send them in for service and you wanted to make sure that they were factory reset when you send it in and we're going to see the remote controller run through that reset and we would see where we would start that first time authorization again just as we would with a new aircraft I hope that was helpful, and if you would like more information, check out our Trust Center webpage that is loaded with other information and resources.